Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a look today using this. I don't think Sarah's impressed with it. What happened here? Why is it green? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> My friend has not gone down much at all. It's still, you know, so this is going to be a new experience for me because I don't ever do makeup like this ever. So we'll see how this works out. But we're going to use these subculture palettes and we're going to see what happens. Look at her. She's not... What's happening? Are you getting started already? <laughs> and my crap is still on the bed and she's over here like, let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this palette works out. I don't have a problem returning stuff, so you know, whatever. I know I'm keeping this, so... Well, you have to. I'm, I'm the going out. to uh, <laughs> just use this as a uh, brush cleaner. So... <laughs> It'll wipe off. Oh my god. All right. You're the one who taught me to do I, this. I know, but it was on a brown palette, not pink. It's fine. It'll wipe off. You guys know the uh, the first naked palettes have that, that velvety feel. They're amazing for cleaning brushes. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, those palettes are brown, so you don't really see all the muck that you're putting on there. She just... Oh my god. It's coming off. <laughs> now she's using a makeup wipe to show them that it is not coming off. Yes, it is. Put a show of the camera. Hang on, let me clean it off. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is going to turn into an OxyClean <laughs> commercial. <laughs> Stubborn stains on your modern Renaissance film. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing green around. I can't take her anywhere. <laughs> we aren't anywhere. <laughs> We're in my bedroom. You should close the door behind you. No. Alright. I want I want animals to roam free. You this? guys you guys ever see that movie? Look at that! No, there's still <laughs> green so all over whatever. it. You guys what? ever see that movie, um, what is it called, Grumpy Old Men? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be us when we're old. <sighs> Little bit of soft ochre. This guy needs to be put to sleep. Because it's pretty bad. Uh, Alrighty, not wanting to do this anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a brush to put this on. What are you talking about? Here. I brought my brushes in, all of them. Yes, she did. Can you use this? Yeah. Yeah, put a little bit of the argan oil in it and, uh, you know, all that. All right. All that. Let's start with a little bit of Dawn. This one here, all over the lid. <laughs> Just like a little bit of this? One one drop, huh? Where are you going with that? Huh? One drop, huh? Oh, this was a little bit darker than I thought. I was going to use that in uh, my crease. That's what I'm doing. Well, this is sort of setting everything. I can't wait to see what this one's doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> oh, yikers. This is going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look like I got attacked by a vampire. Hey, there's no problem with that. Oh no. Alright, we're going to use some edge here. Anyway, that one. Hopefully this video isn't blurry because <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, what's happening? <laughs> I'm laughing at uh, how um, my eye looks bloody so far. I'm not the most uh, neat with putting on my makeup, so kind of gets everywhere at first, and then 
All right, I don't understand what people are talking about. So far, I mean, these shadows are going on nice. Cause it does. Oh, damn. What is wrong with me? What have you done? I accidentally touched the green. Now there's oh. green on my freaking eyelid. That's no good. What is wrong with me? I did this the other day. Do you guys remember? When I accidentally <laughs> touched the black? Yeah. Well, that was a mistake because it was just everywhere. Well, this was a mistake too, but still it ruined everything. You can see the green. Did I tell you guys that I finally got Amazon Prime? So there's like tons and tons of like yes, stupid so horror. You be quiet over there. <laughs> I gotta take this off because the green is screwing this whole side up. I probably would have never bought this palette if it weren't for Sarah. So far I have three colors in my crease. <laughs> <laughs> She's only putting colors in her crease today. That's it. Dawn, Edge, and New Wave. Ooh, Roxy's really pretty too, but that might be overkill. <laughs> <laughs> she just wiped her brush on my pants. It was a clean one. I feel like every palette has this shade in it. Like some like a variation of this shade like those coppery browns or like you guys know what amber lights looks like and um what's that what's that shade in the naked palette the goldy colored one i can't think of it right now i'll put it down here somewhere but i feel like almost every palette has like some version of of those eyeshadows look how pretty mm. you guys want to see it's probably not going to focus. I have some weird setting on here because what was happening was I was sitting back here and it was focusing on my face and then Sarah was a little blurry. So I had to, I had to use a setting I've never used before. Hi, Ooh, I, really, I really like this color a lot. <laughs> Got this in the window. Hey man, <sighs> you're, you're making a shadow. Uh oh. <laughs> what did I do with the... What? Oh, here it is. I don't know if I should use... I'm thinking of popping some electric in the center of my lid. I think I'm going to do that. I think that'll be pretty. Here's a cat on the windowsill. What? That's what that's called, right? Yeah. My look isn't going to surprise anybody. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen my calf tattoos? Are they showing? Yes. Those are my calf tattoos. She's afraid everyone's going to judge her about it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not a big shorts wearer. And people ask me, why do I have those if I don't, you know, show them? I didn't get them for other people. I got them for myself. I wore shorts the other day, didn't I? She did. Mm -hmm. I don't normally wear shorts though, because I'm not a. I don't really like them, if I'm gonna be honest. All right, you know what? Do I have a yellow glitter like this? I don't think I do. I just think it would be, look at, wouldn't it be pretty like in the yeah. center? I'll be back, I'm gonna go check something. Talk to the people. Talk to your audience. She's talking to herself. Well, that's not working. I'm trying to put this Kat Von D as I spill it all over. True Romance pigment in Ladyhawk over top of this red. And it's not really doing anything. Hey, can you bring me that coconut water spray? Oh. I think that's why it's not working. Need to get a little bit, oh, there's those creepy bangs. Need to get some of this up in there. It's really hard to do your makeup like holding this. Does anybody else? Usually when I do my makeup, it's uh, like I'm using uh, one of those vanity mirrors like that that's just sitting. God, this is really hard to do. <laughs> No, thank you. 
She's asking me if I want glitter. Honestly, I don't really like this subculture like palette. Some kind of that yellow I'm color talking to glitter. the people. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's just do the face part. I'm trying to use this brush that comes in the Anastasia palettes. How's so. that working out? Uh, I don't know. Let's do some of this. This stuff is oh. awesome. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, you know what? I have an eyeliner, Sarah. It's called Raven. It would look amazeballs. Oh, or this one here, look. Ooh. In your crease? Or not in your crease. In your <laughs> crease. You know, Let's I'm put like some eyeliner in my crease. <laughs> obsessed with that. Here, here's another one called Raven. Ooh. That one needs to be sharpened. I was trying to put this on like just dry and I'm like, why isn't this working? And then I realized that it needed to be wet. Well, it, you can put it on dry. I put it on and it wasn't like, it wouldn't hold, it wouldn't stick on what I already had on. I mean, I'm sure you could use it dry if you maybe put it right on top of the base or something. Smack into base. <laughs> And that, bass. Uh -huh. that poor guy. Big time. That movie is so funny because it's like he's just so awkward. He's such a good actor. Yeah. Like he just plays such an awkward character in that. I feel bad for him. He doesn't have any friends. Um, if, if I ever got married, Sarah would be my only bridesmaid. If I ever got she married. is Paul Rudd, and I. <laughs> I am. I mean, aren't we all though? Like at this age, I feel like everybody only has like one or two friends. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have any friends. Thank you, Lord. No, I wouldn't. I seriously would not. All these Come on. are your friends. I know, but I don't get to hang out with them. Actually, I don't get to hang out with you either, do I? No. Uh oh. Well, we're hanging out now. So Batteries what? flashing. What the? I have another one. I love this primer. Art. Clean slate poreless. It's like really thick and I have really big pores on my nose and like right here. I feel like it fills it in really good. Um, tell everybody what I made you for breakfast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Felicia has made me breakfast like every day. Um, and today was the best. Um, it was like, she used a waffle iron and then she took tater tots and then there, it was like tater tot, egg, cheese, turkey bacon, and another layer of tater tots and like put it in the waffle iron and it made this like tater tot egg waffle sandwich type thing. And it was freaking amazing. She loved it. It was so good. And like, I, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it would have, I mean, it still would have been good, but with like, um, shredded hash browns or something, it, I just, it just wouldn't have been you exactly like the tater tots? Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know what it was about it, but really good. Tomorrow. I, I keep feel like tomorrow. I already was like, what am I going to make tomorrow? I have to outdo myself every day. So like the first one that I made was a uh, pumpkin spice. It was pumpkin. What did it, was it? It was pumpkin, French toast. It was pumpkin spice, like bread. You know that like cinnamon swirl bread, but it was pumpkin. But, yeah, but she made French toast with it. Yeah, I made French toast. And then the second day for her birthday, I made, you guys saw, the um, egg, the soft boiled eggs on the crusty bread. Well, no, didn't we have, the second day we had um, the beans on toast. Oh, that's right. I made her a proper English breakfast. Actually, and it wasn't a full breakfast though. It was toast, Heinz beans, eggs, did I do turkey bacon that day too? Yeah. 
Yeah, I and some so. and some yeah. turkey bacon. That was really good. She never had Heinz, Heinz beans before. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I thought that they were going to be. I thought it was going to be silent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> every time I say I thought it was, and like I just automatically want to say that. Um, I thought that they were going to be more like baked beans, like way more sweet. And that's why I think I always was like, why would I eat that for breakfast? Um, but it was really good. Clearly you were mistaken. Yeah, they're more like ketchup-y. Yeah, I think- But not overly sweet or anything. It's just like- It nice. tastes really good um, on bread. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we had that one day and then the- Hard boy, or the soft boiled egg. Yeah. For her birthday. You guys saw that in the vlog yesterday. And then... Tater tot happened. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It sounded like somebody was outside. Yeah. This would be the wrong house to break into. We're about to get invaded by the purge people. That's not funny. Where are you headed to, partner? Uh, I got some stray uh, eyebrow hair here. I feel like I get caught doing stupid crap all the time. Because I think I'm by myself. You know, I used she's to... constantly doing stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I really am. Um, I, this, the, the door going out to the garage, it used to creak really loud when you would open it. And so one day I got tired of hearing the creak, so I oiled it, and now <laughs> I can't hear it. So yesterday, her and I are talking, and all of a sudden, Mike is just standing there, and I was like, where did you come from? <laughs> He goes, I walked through the garage. I was like, I totally regret greasing the door now. Oh, really? Hi, Sam. Hi, puppy. I don't necessarily like, like Disney cartoons? No. I'm not a <laughs> Disney cartoon kind of person. Yeah. But like those, like, you know, The Incredibles? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, and um, Ratatouille? I love Ratatouille. Is that a Pixar or a, a Disney? I don't know. Pixar. Anyway, I love Ratatouille. I actually bought the video game for my PSP, Ratatouille. And Wally, I love Wally. Wally, though, I think is a Disney movie. Wally actually that makes is me a Pixar. sad. That's a Pixar. Is yeah, it? Yeah, Disney Pixar. Yeah. The Incredibles, though, I love The Incredibles. But, like, Ratatouille and Despicable Me, I love. Oh, Sam. I even have a Wally game for my PSP. Don't make Sam Burger. Don't I, Stamberger? Don't put your balls on my stuff, guy. Ew. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> His face is itchy. You know I can't huh. finish if you're gonna stay here. You told him to get it. I know, but I didn't think he would. <laughs> here, yeah, she so lay off to the side, guy. Let me oh, finish. that's nice. Ow! Sam! Ow! Alright, alright. Oh! Oh, Sam, yeah. come here! Hi! Oh, his Hi, elbow buddy. went right into my femoral vein. Hi, buddy! That, oh. that hurt. I introduced just... Sarah to the Lash Paradise. Oh, it's awesome. You know what I really like? I love tons of mascara. I don't necessarily like it when it's goopy because I'll like go through it and comb it out. I have one of those eyelash combs, but I love tons of mascara. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, um, mascara, and the it, more the better. I'm gonna go into New Wave. What's your favorite 80s movie? You know, like, or maybe what, or like, me or them. you and them, like, 80s, maybe into early 90s. Like, you, maybe not your, maybe you don't have to, like, name a favorite, but, like, maybe one of your most watched 80s movies. I mean, uh... Rad. Yeah. I've never seen that movie. Rad. Pee Wee's Big Adventure 80s, I think, right? Um, 80s. Something like that. 80s. 80s or something? Yeah, 85. Um, yeah, that would be my number one most watched. Rad, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, um, Morgan Stewart's Coming Home. I like this orange and yellow. I think it's really pretty. You gonna use one of those? I did. Ooh. She looks very fallish. <laughs> All right.
Here's my eyeballs. What do you guys think? I feel like if I had that one color from the rust stack on here to just sort of maybe darken it up a little bit, it would be perfecto. So is the, is the palette a yay or a nay? I mean, like, I think it goes on really nice. It's really pigmented and it blends really well. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't know if I would like use it all. It's very fall though. Yeah. You know, like it's a very fall it for palette. It sure is. Like, I guess I'm just kind of, um, Spit like, it out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use it much in the spring or the summer. Like, cause I just, I'm like one of those people that is like. You adjust your makeup for the season? Yeah. Oh. See, I don't do that. I wear whatever, no matter if it's like spring or summer or fall, whatever. I just wear whatever I want. I'm going to keep the palette cause I like it. I think the colors are really nice. I'll hang out. I think what I'll do is I'll do another look with it and see like where I'm at. This color you should put in your highlight for your highlight in the inner corner. Did you see that? It is really super pretty. Sometimes I don't like to put highlight. Huh. Mm -hmm. I really like Anastasia um, eyeshadows. I think they're really pretty. They go on nice. I don't have any issue with this palette. Everything went on my eyelid perfect. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely went on good. Um, and it blended. Yeah. Wow. You should keep it. Eyeshadows don't go bad. You could just put it away like when summertime yeah. comes. You know, it's a nice palette. I'm keeping mine. I was a little nervous at first, not gonna lie. Cause I was like, how is this gonna work out? Am I gonna like it? Show them my eyeballs. Okay, this is awkward. Tap the screen if you need to focus. We're able to see it. I tried to use like a billion colors. Uh, specifically, I'll show you, I used, uh, this all-star color, this red up here, uh, I used this fudge color, which I actually really, really oh, like that color. Fudge is amazing. Um, I used this new wave up, like, to blend in my crease area. And then I used um, this untamed green color down here on like underneath my eyes. I did from like the inner corner to the middle with that green and then the middle to the outer with the fudge color. Did I show them what I used? I don't think so. I don't think I did. They I'll show you kind of did as you went along, I think. Dawn? Dawn? New Wave and Edge are all in my crease. This color is all over my lid. That's called Adorn. And then Electric is tapped in the center. And that's it. All right, I guess that's it. <laughs> Baby. I think we're also gonna, we'll probably vlog our DIYs. I'm really super excited about doing the DIY. All right, we're gonna go. See you later. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you liked our eyeball look. Subculture <laughs> is not as bad as everybody's making it out to be. I think people I, just like to be dramatic. I don't think, well, unless they reform reformulated it, like you said, but I couldn't find anything on the internet. Like, just people talking about it. I hope that they reformulate it, but there's nothing about it actually being reformulated. Yeah. And, like, there is nothing bad about the quality of the product. No. Like, the only reason, like I said, was just color wise but I think I am gonna keep it it's really really pretty and it blends really very good. pigmented I mean 
The only thing is that I would say is it is a little bit powdery, but that doesn't bother me. Some people yeah. get their panties in a twist because the eyeshadow is powdery. But I don't I really mean, care about that. I have a sun's palette. Like, you probably can't really see that, but, like, it's powdery, too. Yeah. Most it's... eyeshadows are have a little bit of kick up to them. Yeah. I don't understand how anybody put their brush in that one time and it hit pan. Like, come on. Yeah, I don't get that either. That's... Like, you must I don't... Whatever. Again, I just feel like people want to complain. <laughs> well, I forgot to do this. All right, that's it. We're really going Bye. now. So, thanks for hanging out, and we will see you guys again soon. Bye.